Here we go. All right, guys. What's up? It's been a long time. Um, back with another quick tutorial. Uh, we'll see how far I get. Uh, recording on my phone. Uh, anyway, we'll cut to the chase. I'm back, gonna show you guys some new stuff, I think. Uh, currently, I decided to bring out the old 07 just to prove that you don't need the best, the newest, best uh, mixer just to, just to cut. I'm um, using a bum-ass old 07, but has a pretty decent fader. <clears throat> so we're gonna practice on this. Uh, just a regular 07. I got uh, Toe Styles Get em. shout out Swift Style. Thank you so much for this record. Because uh, it has my favorite scratch beat of all time, uh, which is the 89 BPM Get em beat. So I'm going to be probably uh, rewinding this a lot because I'm just going to let it play. Using a Super Seal, M447s, Technics 1200s, uh, regular, uh, no, just regular slip mats, uh, D Styles tablecloths, no slip sheet. So uh, I'm currently coming off of a devastating loss to Prolifics uh, in the DMC USA scratch battle. I got second place. No worries, he's really good, and honestly, it's a pleasure to lose to him. So, uh, yeah, anyway, let's get started. Um, we'll play the beat a little bit. Hopefully you guys can hear it. Got to kill the bass a little bit, it's pretty late at night. So I'm going to start just by busting some cuts over it, and then I'll talk about what I'm doing. Just in that little segment, I do a lot of two uh, transforms on a reverse drag, which sounds great on samples like this. You always have to remember to really use the backwards part of the sample um, because usually that gets pretty neglected when everyone's focusing on just uh, doing your forwards. So really try to get the, the meat of the sample, which is on the backwards, especially if you drag it slowly. Don't bring it back too fast. Actually just transforming it while bringing it back slowly. That gets a lot of sound out and gives it a great uh, variation. are just regular stabs. Very important to practice your stabs. So again, stabs, very important when it comes to flowing. Um, usually that, that scratch gets neglected, but you really need to be able to do clean stabs. Um, which then in turn leads to good chirps and just good transforming, just being able to do those clean stabs. I'll start busting an off. We can do some off stuff. scratch I've been doing a lot lately. I don't think I've covered it in any of my previous tutorials. I learned it from, I think, Dag from Oslo Flow. Dude is one of the greatest scratch DJs, in my opinion, just because of his flow is, his flow is crazy. So what he does, from what I've seen, is he does like a, like, it's basically a forward, but you're just kind of, um, you're kind of dragging it. You're kind of doing drags forward. Um, but you're just slowing the record down. You're not stopping it. You're just kind of But in the middle of that you're doing one click flares to or one clicks to kind of dice the sound in the middle uh, while you're bringing it down So 
You can hear the fader bleeding because it's like an old best deck, but whatever. That uh, that pattern sounds so good if you do it uh, in the right pocket of the beat like this. That's a simple one. Basically starts with the drag. Once you get the timing down between when you're doing the little drags and the then you and the, once you get the timing down between the drags and then the uh, the one click, you get you can get it. It's pretty straightforward. I'm still a pr big proponent of like that drunk flow where you're kind of not really landing, you're transforming maybe super tight and you're just kind of dancing around the beat. The double time stuff, I still do this combo a lot. Which is a chirp into a three click, I believe. You can use the YouTube uh, slow down feature to kind of uh, figure out exactly what I'm doing. You can actually go to the video and change your playback speed. Uh, just cause, cause sometimes trying to do fast scratches super slow, I just can't do it. So so I do that one a lot still. Uh, another one that I do, this is a good one. Looks very intimidating. Honestly, once you get the, the rhythm of it, it's actually not too bad. So basically that one is a... So it's two clicks. It's basically a two click, um, but what you're doing is you're doing a forward or you're just letting the record play for a moment. And then you're actually pushing the record forward and back super quick while you're flaring. So, or yeah, while you're two click flaring. So it's just an open. So you're getting that first note in, and then you're doing a two-click flare. Uh, you're you're gonna start tapping your flare, your two-click flares out, but you're actually playing the sample forward. I hope I explained it right. It's a little hard to explain. Uh, I'm not the best teacher, but uh. Again, you can slow it down uh, with the YouTube fe feature. Uh. That's a good one. Uh, let's 
see what else we can get into. Um, we'll go back to scratching a different sample other than the off. I love, if you have a super seal, you should really practice scratching this bank. Um, don't just cut the say what, because that's really what everyone cuts on this bank. But I feel like everyone should make use of the budge yo and then the other yo. Everyone should be, be able to cut this uh, sentence apart because it's so good. You want to be able to practice just being able to do forwards or releases, I guess, on those two little syllables, but Joe, but Joe, and being able to really isolate them and get them to play clean. Second, uh, yo. Again, drags, real important, real important to be able to do those drags. And then this um, like stab sample is also really good because it still has a lot of bass to it. Uh, again, if you remember my other videos, I talk about not killing your bass all the way uh, because then your samples get too tinny. You want to uh, preserve some of the bass so you can actually hear the low end on samples like this. Because that's a lot that uh, you don't want to miss out on. That's a great exercise you can do is just being able to play the stab, uh, maybe do a drag on it, and then rewind or bring the record back to play the yo, but make sure that yo comes in super clean, full volume, uh, no no dragging or walling on the beginning of it. You want it to come clean as if you're hitting it on a sampler. getting your stabs cleaner um, is the closer that you are to the spindle the more ground you'll be able to cover with uh, your fingers so if you're holding the record like around here or around here when you're doing stabs it's actually less effort than put, trying to do stabs out here so if you're having trouble with stabs maybe try to move your hand closer to the spindle um, Instead of out here. Just because it's more effort. Uh, the closer you are to the spindle, the less effort your hand has to actually do. So 
that's me just really trying to do the fastest two clicks I can do. Uh, trying to, I've always tried to get my two clicks so fast that it almost sounds like you're crabbing. Uh, I know Rucker does them super fast. He also does three clicks super fast. And I always like the way just super fast two click um, uh, flares have always sounded, um, especially if you can just sprinkle them in into like a really chill flow. Sloppy there. Uh, let's see, we'll go back to the this sample. that's just three clicks all you're doing is uh, you're dropping the sample uh, you're three clicking on the back and then uh, you're doing stabs or I get not stabs I guess they're just forward releases um, in the middle of it so it's like that's a, that was really fucking stupid of me to explain it like that but <laughs> So hopefully that was a good enough section for you to kind of figure out uh, what I was going for there. Notice this is all record hand. Uh, all you're doing here is basically what would be a chirp flare. Super simple, just one click. Again, those are whips. Uh, your hand actually gets super tired after doing stuff like that. But those are just whips with uh, drags forward. Go back to the off. I haven't done any talking in a long time. Don't know how long this is so far. Um, I guess I'll just go a little further since it's been so long. Um, I'll probably do this more often. We'll see. Uh, got something cooking with Swift style, so just you wait. Um, but let's see. Let's see what else we got. <laughs> I'll cut a fresh, why not?
don't sleep on chirps. Again, very important scratch to really master. Um, they get kind of slept on because everyone wants to learn the crabs and the transform or the crabs and the flares. But a clean chirp, you really can't beat it. hamster just for fun I personally I love scratching hamster just because I'm not as dexterous but I have a different flow when I do it hamster is very click heavy I am not really good at chirps hamster um, not nor good at stabs really but just for tapping out a lot of clicks um, it's very fun Transforming hamster, shit, that's kind of hard. Um, don't really know what else I could cover. Uh, there's, I mean, I guess there is a lot I could cover, um, but I just don't know what you guys want. Um, I feel like I go over the same things in that different variations in every tutorial I do, but if that's not the case, then I'm glad you're getting a lot out of this. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm just, uh, just like scratching. I spin, I guess, about 10 years since I've gotten turntables and uh, I am still learning every day. All right, I thought I heard a ghost. That's super weird. Anyway, we'll do a little more cutting. I have two ways to cut. I have like the super cracked out double time version, which you just saw. And then I have the super mellow, like weird.
anyway, I think that'll be about it for today's uh, tutorial. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you guys got something out of it. If not, uh, just let me know in the comments if you liked it. Uh, Timestamp certain things. Kind of talk to me and let me know what you guys want more of. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Take it easy.